What's going on? Welcome back to Know for a Fact. Today, we've got five more famous paradoxes for you to ponder on. The world is full of mysteries, contradictions, and questions that are seemingly impossible to answer. Paradoxes, for instance, are great examples of thoughts that can leave you scratching your head. What is a paradox anyway? A paradox, sometimes referred to as antimony, is a statement that has a logically sound premise but comes to a conclusion that appears to be senseless, absurd, self-contradictory, or the opposite of the expected outcome. It could be a situation that produces two opposite but entirely possible outcomes. Or, it could be as simple as a sentence that contradicts itself, such as this statement is a lie. Paradoxes are some of the most unusual quirks of human logic. To better understand them, we've compiled a list of some famous paradoxes that will surely blow your mind. Let's get into it. First up, the crocodile paradox. This is among the famous paradoxes that are in line with the liar paradox. Suppose that a crocodile grabs a young child from a riverbank. The child's parent then asks the crocodile to return the child safely, but the crocodile replies that he will return the child only if the parent can correctly guess if he will safely return the child or not. Now, if the parent correctly guesses that the crocodile will return the child safely, then there will be no problem. If the parent is wrong, then the crocodile will keep the child. The paradox then arises if the parent guesses that the crocodile will not return the child. If this happens and the crocodile returns the child, then this will contradict the parent's answer and the crocodile will be breaking his promise. Furthermore, if the crocodile does not return the child, then the parent will have correctly guessed the answer and the crocodile should then return the child safely. However, this scenario would then also result in the parent being wrong about the prediction. Therefore, there wouldn't be any justifiable solution for what the crocodile will do. The crocodile paradox dates back to ancient Greece. People in the Middle Ages even used crocodilite to refer to a similar dilemma wherein your words are used against you. Next on our list is the lottery paradox. This paradox originated from Henry E. Kyberg Jr. in 1961. Let's say you buy a lottery ticket just for fun. Assume that there are at least 10 million tickets and that the lottery is fair with exactly one winning ticket. Your chances of winning would then be 1 in 10 million, which you know isn't likely to happen. It's therefore perfectly reasonable to assume that your ticket will lose. It's also perfectly reasonable to assume that the next ticket will lose too. That goes for the next ticket as well, and the next, and the next, and so on. Your belief that every ticket bought from the lottery will lose will be completely justified by the odds. Even though you're perfectly reasonable in thinking that every ticket will lose, you know that one ticket will win. The problem is this, why is it still reasonable to assume that every ticket will lose, even if you know that one will win? This problem has been around since the early 1960s, and it has opened up a lot of discussions regarding knowledge, rationality, and other philosophical concepts. Moving on to the Achilles and the tortoise paradox. The Greek philosopher Zeno of Elia, who lived in the 5th century BC, is popular for introducing many famous paradoxes. One great example of these is the paradox of Achilles and the tortoise. In this paradox, the great mythological warrior Achilles is in a foot race with a tortoise. Because tortoises are notoriously slow, he agrees to give the tortoise a head start. Let's say the tortoise gets a head start of 100 feet before Achilles starts running. Obviously, when Achilles runs, he'll run much faster than the tortoise and will eventually reach the tortoise's starting point of 100 feet. However, by the time Achilles reaches the 100-foot marker, the tortoise will have walked about 10 feet further. It will take Achilles a bit more time to reach that point. By that time, the tortoise will have walked a foot further again. Although the distance will become smaller and smaller, Achilles will have to infinitely play catch up with the slow tortoise that's always moving ahead. He can never overtake the tortoise because he will always have some distance left to run to reach somewhere the tortoise has been. Now, practically speaking, it isn't that hard to outrun a tortoise in real life. However, practicality is not the point of this famous paradox. Instead, this paradox only exists to provide some insight into one of the most fundamental and hardest to grasp aspects of mathematics, which is infinity. Zeno's Achilles and the tortoise paradox tackles the concept that there is an infinite distance between two finite numbers. 
For example, between the numbers 1 and 0, there exists an infinite number of smaller and smaller numbers or distances such as 0.1 and 0.01 and the list goes on. It's such a mind-blowing concept to think about. Here's a similar one. The dichotomy paradox. Like Achilles and the tortoise, this is another one of Zeno's famous paradoxes. In this paradox, imagine that you'll be walking to reach a certain point down a street, but for you to reach your destination, you would have to walk halfway there. Furthermore, before you walk halfway to the destination, you have to walk a quarter of the way there. To reach a quarter of the way there, you'd also have to walk an eighth of the way there, which would then require you to walk a sixteenth of the way there, and so on without end. This would ultimately mean that to reach a certain point, you would have to do an infinite number of smaller and smaller tasks, which Zeno deems utterly impossible. In this paradox, no matter how small your starting point is, you can always divide the task into smaller and smaller divisions. Therefore, the only way for your starting point to not be halved is to travel no distance at all. This ultimately concludes with Zeno saying that you cannot travel any finite distance and motion is just plain impossible. Of course, we can see that things do move, but Zeno maintains that things are not as they appear and that motion is merely an illusion. Definitely one of the famous paradoxes that will leave you scratching your head. Our final paradox for this video is the Fletcher's Paradox. This paradox is yet another mind-boggling work from Zeno, which begins with an arrow maker or Fletcher. Say a Fletcher fires one of his arrows into the air. To prove that the arrow is indeed moving, it needs to continuously reposition itself from the place where it has originated and to any place where it isn't. However, Fletcher's paradox states that the arrow, all throughout its trajectory flight, is not moving. During the arrow's flight, any instance of real duration is non-existent. Simply put, the arrow cannot move to anywhere it currently isn't because there is no time given for it to happen. It also has no capacity to move where it currently is because it's already in that place. So, for that snapshot in time, the arrow is only stationary. The paradox further states, however, that time is a series of instances which includes a single panel where the arrow is stationary. With that, we can deduce that the arrow must indeed be stationary through the shot, even when it apparently isn't. That's all for this video. Tell us what you think of these five famous paradoxes in the comments. As always, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more daily facts. See ya!